Hello, everyone, and welcome to Let's Talk in English on PTS. Get ready to learn something new, friends, with Gabe and Andrea. We are still learning how to talk about places to live. So let's look at our keywords together. The first one today is for rent. For rent. This apartment is for rent. No one is living there now. Furniture. Furniture. I need to buy some chairs and other furniture for this room. Safe. Safe. This place is very safe. No one will hurt you here. Building. Building. There are six apartments in this building. Okay, friends, let's say these words again. The first one is for rent. For rent. Furniture. Furniture. Safe. Safe. Building. Building. Great job, everyone. Now let's go see our friend Eddie.、Um, uh, Eddie, is it safe to give you today's mission? Eddie, of course it's safe. What are you scared of? Eddie, it's always safe here. You know that. Oh, okay. I'm just being careful. Okay. Well,、Good. Eddie, you are safe and. Can you now give us today's mission? Oh, okay. Well, today's mission is what is Olga's budget? What is Olga's budget? Listen carefully. Let's begin today's lesson. You don't need a real estate agent. Just look in the newspaper. There are lots of apartments for rent. Good idea. Here's today's paper. So what is Olga's budget? She doesn't want to pay more than eight hundred dollars a month for rent. You can get a nice apartment for that. Does she want an apartment with furniture? Yes, if I can find one. Well, I do hope that Hugh can find the perfect apartment for Olga. Well, friends, I do know that we found the answer to today's mission in this conversation. The question is, what is Olga's budget? What is Olga's budget? Olga's budget is eight hundred dollars a month or less. Okay, she doesn't want to pay more than eight hundred dollars. Well, Hugh is looking. At different apartments that are for rent. Friends, let's learn these key words. For rent. For rent. Now, if something is for rent, that means you can rent it. Sometimes I see a sign in a window that says "for rent." That means that you can. Pay money to use that apartment or that place. And Hugh might ask a question like this: Is this apartment for rent, or is this house for rent? Renee tells Hugh that he can look for things in the newspaper. There are lots of apartments for rent there. That is true, but Hugh is not just looking for any apartment for rent. He hopes to find an apartment that has furniture in it. So you pay for the apartment, and you can use the furniture inside of it. And we can look at that keyword. Let's say it together: furniture. Furniture. Now, furniture are big objects that are in your house. A bed is a piece of furniture. Now, friends, when you use this word "furniture," make sure you never put an "s" on the end of the word. You cannot say, "I have a lot of furnitures in my house." No, you should say, "I have a lot of 
furniture in my house. Or you can also say a piece of furniture if you're just talking about one thing. A chair is a piece of furniture. A table is a piece of furniture. And Olga wants some furniture in her new apartment. Will she have a car? No. She wants an apartment near a bus stop and near a grocery store. And she wants a safe place. Yes. Then I know just the place for her. Where? My apartment building. It's near a bus stop and a grocery store. Are there any apartments for rent there? I don't know, but we can ask. So our friends are talking about apartments for Olga. Now, what does Olga want around her apartment? Well, Olga wants a bus stop near her apartment, and she also wants a grocery store near her apartment. And we see that she also wants a safe place. Friends, let's look at this word, the word safe. Say it again, safe. If something is safe, that means it is not dangerous. That means it is okay to be around. It's okay to live there. It is safe. Yes, Olga wants a safe place. That means she doesn't want to be afraid where she lives. She wants to feel comfortable and relaxed and know that she will be okay. You know, there is a good phrase that uses this word safe. There's four words. Better safe than sorry. You can use this phrase like this. When you go riding in your car, make sure you put on your seatbelt. Better safe than sorry. That's true. Better safe than sorry. You can also use the word safe to describe places in your neighborhood. That's a safe place. Don't go to the other place. It's not safe. Well, Olga wants to live in a safe place, and Renee says that her apartment building is just the place for Olga. Let's look at this word, building. Building. A building is something that people build or that they make, usually for people to live in or to work in. A house can be a building. A school is a building. In our conversation, we're talking about an apartment building. This is a big building with many apartments inside. Yes, and like Andrea said, you can have a school building. You can also have an office building. I work in the office building. Or you can say, the restaurant is in that building. Or what is the number of your building? Or does your building have a name? Hello, friends. It's Gabe here with September's song time. Today's song is called Fall, and I'm going to ask two friends to help me teach. Let's welcome Angus on piano and the Black Pearl. Hello, 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 friends. I'm so happy to be here with you on Let's Talk in English. My name is Hey Jung Jo. You can call me the Black Pearl, yeah. The Black Pearl. Yeah. I like that. And you just sing, let's talk in English. <clears throat> you sang it better than I did. Yeah. But I like that. Good, Gabe, because we're going to do something different today. We're going to play a game I like to call Sing and Say. This is how you play. When you hear me sing and say, you try to sound the same. When you hear me sing and say, you try to sound the same. Say these words again today, that's how you play the game. Say these words again today, that's how you play the game. Oh, yeah. Well, that's great. I'm ready to play. Are you ready to yeah, play? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, great. Well, what's the first phrase? Oh, you're right. Uh, the first phrase is, here comes the fall. Here comes the fall. Mm -hmm. Here comes the fall. What does that mean, Gabe? Well, uh, here comes something. That means something is coming soon or something is almost here. Mm, let me see. 
Black Pearl, mm -hmm. have you heard the song, Here Comes the Bride? Yes, I have! That means the bride is coming soon. Oh, I understand. Watch it out. Yes, yeah, I okay, understand. you I know. know. I so know. So, let's say that phrase. Here comes the bride. Sing and say. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Oh, I love weddings. <laughs> yes. And also, uh, here comes our dinner. Oh, here comes our dinner. Here comes our dinner. Here comes our dinner. Here comes our dinner. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's great. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Good job, friends. Okay, let's go to the next phrase here in this song. The phrase is soon the roll call. Soon the roll call. Yes. Now, the roll is a list of people in a class if you are in a classroom, so the teacher will read the list and they will call the name of everyone in the classroom. When they call, that is called the roll call. Okay, it's time for roll call. Angus, are you here? Good, Angus is here. Okay, and the black pearl. Where is the black pearl? <laughs> okay, the black pearl is here. All right, now let's go with this phrase, roll call. Ready? Ready, sing and say. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Roll call. Oh, that was good. Good. That was good. It's time for the roll call. It's time for the roll call. It's time for the roll call. Sweet. It's time for the roll call. It's time for the roll call. All right, everybody. Now it's time yes. for our last phrase. To last. To last means to continue in time. So if something lasts for a long time, that means it continues for a long time. Are you ready? The phrase is to last. I'm ready. Sing and say, to last a long time. To last a long time. Oh, okay. to last a long time. To last a long time. Oh, I like that twist. Okay, anything else? Uh, yes, I have one. Beautiful pearl. Beautiful pearl. Beautiful pearl. Beautiful pearl. What is that? <laughs> it's me, me, me. It is you, you, you. Hayden yes. to Hayden the black pearl. Dwea. And you are beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you. Let's sing this song. Let's go listen to this song. Fall. Fall. Song time. Rooms 
conversation replay. You don't need a real estate agent. Just look in the newspaper. There are lots of apartments for rent. Good idea. Here's today's paper. So what is Olga's budget? She doesn't want to pay more than eight hundred dollars a month for rent. You can get a nice apartment for that. Does she want an apartment with furniture? Yes, if I can find one. Will she have a car? No, she wants an apartment near a bus stop, and near a grocery store. And she wants a safe place. Yes. Then I know just the place for her. Where? My apartment building. It's near a bus stop and a grocery store. Are there any apartments for rent there? I don't know, but we can ask. Calendar phrase. Well, Gabe, if you are looking for an apartment, there's an important question to ask. There is a very important question to ask. What is it? Well, it is today's calendar, calendar phrase. phrase. The phrase、uh, is "How much is the rent?" How much is the rent? Now, remember, rent is the money you have to pay to stay at a place. So, how much is the rent? The answer will tell you how much money you have to pay. That's right. That's an important question to ask when you are going to rent. A house or rent an apartment, and it's also important that we learn more with today's skit. Let's go. How much is the rent? How much is the rent? What's wrong, Jan? <laughs> My family has to move. We can't pay the rent. What? How much is the rent? It's three thousand dollars. My dad doesn't make enough money. We can't pay it. I'm sorry. Where are you moving to? We're moving to a smaller house in another part of the city. How much is the rent? It's twelve hundred dollars. Well, my house is a lot cheaper. Why? How much is the rent? It's free. My family lives with my grandma. You can stay with us if you need help. Thanks, Dan. I'll be okay. How much is the rent? How much is the rent? Welcome back, friends. Now, Eddie, do you feel safe now? Yes, I feel safe. Good news. So, can you give us the question of the day? Oh, okay. The question of the day. Here it is. What is your house or apartment? Near. What is your house or apartment near? Well, my apartment is near a really nice breakfast place. So all I have to do is get up and walk a little ways to get my breakfast. It's very nice. That is great, Gabe. Well, thank you for answering that. And friends, it's your turn. Join us again tomorrow here on Let's Talk in English on PTS Where. Learning English can be fun. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye.